battle every game goes down the wire. And, uh, we've been doing this for six years in the NCAA tournament. Uh, two and two now. <laughs> it's uh, it's just a, a battle. And it came down to a tie game with three minutes to go. And, uh, they made some really nice plays down the stretch. And we did not. And that's the difference in the game. But uh, boy, I'm sure I'm proud of our group. Unbelievable season and won the conference championship. These two girls won 104 games, which is the most in the history of our program in a four year span. Been to four NCAA tournaments, an Elite Eight, and I'm just real proud of what they've done for our program. Not just on the floor, but off the floor. And uh, we've been to our school, and our university, and their teammates, for one of the students. Uh, definition of student athletes right here. I'm just real proud of them. Coach uh, George Valachi, KOD. Um, you know, the game how it was, they opened up in Corey State with a 16 to 6 lead. You guys came back to tie it at half. It, you know, said it was like another classic game with the Corey State. You know, two good teams and battling out of the heavyweights. What, was, what did they do, especially in the paint against you guys? They did an awesome job getting the ball to fought on the pick and roll action, and she delivered tonight. And uh, we, did, we did a great job tying the game up. Second half, we were uh, just fantastic. I thought defensively, we made a few adjustments, started doubling down. Uh, Flotty only had six in the second half, and uh, we got some steals out of it and some deflections. Um, so, real proud of the way we responded to that. And when you go against a player like Kelly Moen, Aiden, you can answer this question actually. Is, you know, what is that like the matchup, you know, going against a skilled point guard with you? Um, you know, she's the best player in the country, whether I don't know if everyone else knows that because they haven't played against her, but any team that plays against her knows she's the best player in the country. I don't know if you try to stop her, you just try to do the best you can to contain her. And she's a player, she made big plays on the stretch, so we did everything we could, but she's the best player in the country, so she can't be playing. But. And you guys, two top tier teams in the conference, you know, the players, skilled as moment, as you say, do you guys develop a relationship with them over the course of the season, you know, playing them so much, paying so much attention to how they do as well? Um, no, how great our relationship is. <laughs> uh, I think we definitely had a, a tremendous amount of respect for one another. We definitely don't like each other on the court, but at the end of the uh, day, you just want you want to see them do well. You want to see them. Central Missouri, you want to see them do well. Uh, we play against them all year. Just a ton of respect for them and their program. So I hope they find a way to pull it out. Uh, Coach Andy C. Check out Kaylee. Um, do you think like I, I mean there are four you know ties, four lead changes. Do you think that every time you know you guys did something, made a basket, they had an answer for you? Yeah, and I thought if we could ever get over the hump. Um, basket there and they were able to you know if we could just get that lead and they were able to, to take advantage of getting the lead. Uh, I thought they did a great job coming out of the locker room. They made a huge run on the on the already the first one four minutes in the third quarter and that was big and got all the way back, fought all the way back and got it to fifty five could not make that next basket. Uh, to get us over the hump. Uh, that was huge for them. Uh, kind of in the last Seconds before in the first half and uh, into halftime, uh, you guys were up two, and then Kelly Moen I think responded, and, and you guys were tied. Uh, do you think that kind of took the, the wind out of your sails heading into halftime? Oh, I don't think so. I think we felt pretty good. I mean, we were down ten or eleven, and we made a great run and played great basketball. Uh, you know, against Emporia, uh, they guard us differently than most anybody in the league. In other words, we're not going to play any help defense. Um, so we try to find a matchup and expose them. I thought Brooklyn McPherson did a great job with that, getting to the paint. Um, but you can't run. Uh, you're not going to get skip threes. You're not going to get, uh, uh, you know, we can't double down and, and try to get a three that way. Because they're not going to help anywhere. So what they're expecting you to do but defensively, what they're trying to do is make our players make plays. And we did that at certain times in the game. But, um, you know, at the end there, we just a few, few runnings that we normally make. But, um, that's their defense. They're great at it, and uh, they dared us to drive it. And we did. Just, you know, pull short and solid basketball. Uh, before I get to you two seniors, uh, the last thing about uh, you know, your team's kind of so young, coach. Um, only going to graduate two seniors. Just talk about those young players like Brindley, like Paige Einhoff, stepping up in up in Alvarado, and talk about kind of what you see in the, pro, the future of your program. Well, we got seniors like these two, Paige and Hayden, that have uh, just kept our culture and our, uh, our tradition of uh, winning habits and uh, we expect to be back next year and we expect to be back the year after that but uh, it's all because we have disciplined players that believe in our school and in our coaches and they carry on the tradition that uh, the way of like this hobby started before us and uh, we'll continue to be good we'll continue to battle and, uh, but for the people that we have in the program like this to continue to do what we ask them to do uh, Paige, um, you can go first and then you can. Uh, 
uh, talk about uh, just such a stellar career that you've had here for NCAA appearances um, and, and everything that you've accomplished. Last year, you guys won the Central Regional. This year, you know, uh, just uh, you guys won the MIAA outright season. Uh, just talk about that stuff. Um, Hayden and I have definitely had a lot of accomplishments, but um, we were able to do that because we got to play through some of the greatest coaches and some of the best teammates. And um, when you look back at it all, you're really not going to remember those. I mean, you'll remember some of the huge wins, but it all comes out to the relationships you built with each and every single one of your teammates and your coaches. And um, that's something I'm very thankful and grateful I was able to do at Penn State. And I love everything. Jim's okay. He's not even good.